Hello Next fans. Um, I just thought I'd uh, show you the difference between a Turbo Cube motherboard, a Next Dimension board, and a 680 25MHz board. The main differences are uh, the 680 25MHz board <coughs> has 4 meg SIMs. Uh, they're 30 pin, you run them in sets of 4, and uh, the maximum is 64 meg on the motherboard. For the dimension board, it was actually years ahead of its time. You could go up to 64 megs of VRAM, and this was in 1990, which is pretty cool. I mean, there wasn't anything like it as far as video RAM until the 2000s to match it. And this was a $12,000 add-on. Um, as you can see on the front, it has a 13W3 connector, as well as RCA jacks and S-Video, which was pretty cool. So it was capable of actually doing uh, nearly real-time um, uh, video, sound. You could watch TV on these next cubes just years ahead of its time. On the 68040 board, it has built-in... BNC and RJ45 as well as a DSP connector so you can actually hook up a MIDI has a couple serial ports built-in SCSI and as well as a built-in printer port for the uh, next laser printers which were also years ahead of their time they actually talked and told you when uh, they were getting close to being out of uh, ink and so forth uh, when the printer cover was open and uh, Pretty neat. Now the uh, Turbo Cube board was ne next last production uh, board that was released, and it is a 33 megahertz bus. So it's a 68033 processor, 68040 33 megahertz processor. It has um, four SIM slots that can go to 128 megs of RAM. That white slot in the center was for a DSP memory expansion and uh, those chips are pretty rare in all my years of doing this about 20 years I've only seen two of them and it would uh, double the expansion capabilities of DSP uh, some of the things that you could also do with DSP there was a, uh, a thing called a daydream box so it actually had Apple ROMs so you could get the next to boot up into the Mac OS up to version uh, I believe 9.0 I know I've done 8.1, but I think 9.0 will actually boot. And uh, it has also BNC RJ45 uh, printer, SCSI, serial, and uh, the video is um, it's a DB19 connector, so it's 2-bit grayscale on the monitors. And here is a, an example of a turbo cube. Uh, it has two slots. One of them is for a floppy drive. On the Turbo Cube board, they dropped the optical because they were having so many problems with the original optical drive. But I like to put a custom uh, SCSI CD in that second lower slot. And here's an example of a cube with dual optical drive slots. And the earlier cubes actually had the uh, magneto optical drive by Canon but they're notorious for failure rate and about 95 percent of them um, have failed this is one that we did a fresh paint job on and we use the original next paint formula we take it down to magnesium and then uh, do a really nice job uh, replicating the original next paint a lot of them that we receive in have nicks, dings, scratches, gouges so we'll give them a fresh paint job if they're too bad off. The Turbo Cube, it, this one isn't too bad. It has a couple nicks and dings. It's the original patina, but you can see that the paint color is identical. So uh, there you go. That's the lesson for the day. Feel free to contact me, Rob Blesson, at salesofblackholeinc.com. And have a good day. So once more, there's the Turbo Cube configuration. A standard cube configuration, a 68040 motherboard with 64 megs of RAM, the next dimension board with 64 megs of RAM, 
and the TurboCube motherboard with 128 megs of RAM. Have a good day.